All right, everybody, welcome back to another Morning Key Skyrim video. And today, we're going to assassinate a chef who is um, involved with the Emperor. We're still moving forward with our plot of getting as close to the Emperor as we can. And we got to talk to Festus here to get our next uh, objective. So... We're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, the only thing that worries me is... Well, I'll tell y'all after after this. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Mm-hmm. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. So you don't even know who he is? Do you, do you have any idea how I might find out? Don't be so petulant. In my uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. Hmm. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh. And when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? <laughs> you know, being that ass honest, I was kind of just like staring into the screen. <laughs> Not really. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh, I'm waiting with bated breath and be sarcastic. Hmm. As I was saying... You'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. I wonder if that's just for my, my gold bonus or if hiding his body will really change the mission to assassinate the Emperor. Uh, what else can you tell me about the gourmet? Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow. <laughs> You've already taken care of him. Well, they should have told me that earlier. I know the gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Okay, um, I feel like this is a really stupid question. So he's in Skyrim? Alright, I think that's good enough. The Markov Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. All right, well, um, one thing I've determined with the help of you guys is I think a couple of videos ago when they were calling me an idiot and hurting my feelings and saying that uh, I had to pay a fine to keep being part of the Brotherhood, that was, um, that was because the Visara member attacked me when I was doing one of the Dark Brotherhood missions to assassinate the guy's bride. And I think that's why I had to pay the fine. Also, another thing I'm worried about is um, Markarth is, and Solitude are the only two cities that I've ever gone like full crazy in and tried to escape. So I hope that I can sneak into Markarth or that it's not just like instant guards trying to arrest me. But I guess we'll see. Oh, damn it. I, I knew it. Stop right there. Damn it. 2,055 gold. Oh my god. 
I don't know, y'all. What do I want to do? Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Alright, we're gonna frick these guys day up. Heaven. Is it the whole city? Oh my god. I can do this. No, sir, there's no yielding. There's no yielding. I can take you all on. Come on, come on. I have 30 frostbite in him. Holy shit. my potion to fuck you up. There it is. Holy shit, come on. Oh no, there's so many. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Come on. I, I hate this bounty shit, like, I don't know what I could have done to avoid it. Come on, come on, come on. Can I just kill the entire city? Come on now. I got this, I got this. Frenzy poison? Come on, Tell, stay with me, brother. Uh, fear poison. Come on, come on. This is just so much shit going down. Oh, I didn't need that, my bad. Come on now. Woo, we're feeling the burn. I'm gonna let Teljan take over for a minute. Dude, what happens if I just... Thousand bounty removed from the reach? Oh my god, I killed everybody? So no... So you're telling me no one's gonna know I did this? Holy shit, you guys. Look at all this. <laughs> Let's go! That's amazing! That is amazing! I can't believe... I can't believe I just slew like that, y'all. I think that's the best use of potions I've ever had as well. Wow, that was awesome. So I wonder if we can just vibe now and under some keep, or if it's just gonna go full fucko mode. Oh shit. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Damn. Oh my lord in heaven. Let me... I need to get... I need this to be a freaking favorite. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay. Sorry I'm not talking too much, you guys. I'm trying to focus up. Oh my god. I don't even know what's happening. Is Teljan chill? Where's Chill? Oh, they're still on Teljan's ass. Get off his ass.
trying to keep my boy Felder alive. Thousand bounty added to the reach. Yeah, that's what I saw. That's what I thought. I'm like, we just killed everybody. Yo, we just went full. I don't even know. Fucko is not even a word. That's what I feel like saying. We went at full fucko mode right here. So that was amazing. Uh, that deserves a life, you guys. That ass. Holy shit. That was fucking awesome. Oh, there's more. What's up? What's up? Oh my gosh. His flame action arcs getting long shots on these guys. Damn, we're so cool. Oh. There's a lot of shit happening. Oh. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my gosh! This is crazy! Oh shit! I'm gonna switch to flames for a sec. Oh my gosh! This is so cool. I'm also gonna abuse my my level up in a second. I think. Helter, get out of the way, buddy. Woo! Okay. I'm gonna use as much as I can. Damn it, why am I. There's a shit ton of people and all I'm gonna hit is Helter. Okay, come on. Oh, it's just me. I got this. Okay, I got this. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that's a cliff. Holy shit, that was amazing. I need to, um... Okay. I think I'm just gonna leave all this me fucking with my uh, inventory in too, so that you guys know I didn't do any, like, bullshit. Bullshittery. Holy crap. I hope I don't kill Telgen and all this. I don't worry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Alright, here we go, you guys. And here's here's the uh There we go. Frick yeah, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. This is insane. See, but this is what I mean, like... What else am I supposed to do? Pay my bounty? I mean... <laughs> come on. We all know that ain't happening. There is no mercy. Oh, the, the actual Jarl is here too. What happens if you kill him? Yeah, okay, see... I think, I think the Jarl is like a, an important story element. All these named characters are, because we can't kill them, they just fall on their knees or whatever. I just have to keep them down, I guess. Let's fucking go. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make I'm gonna go talk to this guy. And then just fucking slaughter him. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time, I am a Breton. Whew! This is whack, y'all. I am not a rich man. Alright. He won't talk to me right now. Yaro, we need you to chill for a bit, buddy. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time, I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. Fuck my way in just to talk to this guy. <laughs> who are you? What do you want? The gourmet, who is he? I gotta talk gourmet. fast. Let's go, let's go. Never. I don't know what led you here. Hold him off, Teldrin. Hold him off! The secret of the gourmet's identity. My grave. For the Dark Brotherhood, that can be easily arranged. Dark Brotherhood. Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagog Gronolo. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Fuck yeah, you guys. I thought this mission was gonna be like super just talky, but. I guess my uh, my previous bounty made this really interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Please no. Oh yeah, buddy. Let's go. Sorry, y'all, but you're gonna have to take a time out. All right. 
Alright. Now we can skedaddle, I think. Holy shit, this is crazy. Oh my goodness. I don't want to use up my stamina. There's probably bad boys right outside. Y'all, we are going off today. Holy crap. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. Holy shit, you guys. We went off. You guys, I have to be cocky for a second. And also just share my thoughts. So, I feel like I just went total badass. And what's cool about this is not everyone's Skyrim recipe for disaster mission would be like that, you know? Like some people would have had it done in 10 minutes. But because I had a bounty from offline play and from a, a previous vid like part 20 or something in Markarth, that went down and that was fucking awesome. And oh my gosh, that was just so cool. I'm all just giddy about that. But one thing I'm concerned about is, you know, in Skyrim, I guess it's so old. If in the last video, like I tried to steal a guard uniform and blend in and the AI just instantly recognized me. So what I don't get is if all these missions are going to lead to you running into, you know, the, the Solitude guards or the Markarth guards and them all getting really angry or something, then how am I supposed to, am I like just supposed to keep on paying and paying bounties? I, and you know, there's probably, there probably is a super stealthy way to do it if you had the patience, but I guess I just don't have the stealth down. It's probably as simple as that, but I'm just so excited. Dude, this episode's been awesome. This mission. I love this mission right now. Whatever it is. <laughs> he said, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, got the rid of passage. But I don't know, how do you drag someone? Oh, you just hold A. Okay. Am I dragging him still? me what I never knew you could do this I I, just, I dead ass just figured that out on the fly by accident dude okay that was cool can I like lift him in somehow to a barrel or something the pail reminds me of the noise. oh my god let's go Okay, I thought I had to get him in that barrel and I was about to be really annoyed. <laughs> oh my gosh, this has been so much fun and it's not even... I don't know, like, I know I have to give the mission credit, but it's not even just because of the mission itself. It's because of all that fighting. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Let's go. That was awesome, man. All right, we're reporting back to Festus. So the prodigal murderer returns, and the gourmet? Hell yeah, he's dead. So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared, which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid, splendid. Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. That's not all who met an untimely demise. Like 50 other people died too. You expect any less from the listener? All I've ever wanted to do is serve the sanctuary. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment. And... A little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. <laughs> it's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think we're actually going to take on the boy, the Emperor, in the next part. Oh my gosh. I want to see this band he gave me real quick. Sneaking is 10% better. Destruction spells cost 10% less to cast. Okay. What do I have on right now? Oh, but that increases everything by 30 points. 
and so does that. Hmm. I guess I'll have to I'll have to debate what I really think is uh most worth it. It's been quite a they have a pet spider here. Holy yeah. shit! No I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Nice, sir. Whew. All right, you guys. I think that's gonna be it for this video, and I know that that was my favorite part of the Dark Brotherhood missions so far. That was freaking crazy. But so I wonder if this, if our attempt to kill the Emperor, will we be able to hide in the chef gear? Or are they gonna instantly be like, it's, it's the Dragonborn? <laughs> so I guess, I don't know, I guess the, the Skyrim mechanics, hopefully it'll work. I think this to kill an Empire thing will either go really south or it'll be like the coolest part of this whole quest line. So we'll see. That's the next part. If you guys made it to the end, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.